Rule number three ought to make sense to you. It's the triangle rule. Three points, three fingers, three points on a triangle. Anytime you're in a game and you're next to the ball, you line up in a triangle position. That's rule number three. Rule number three is the triangle rule. That just says that the two players adjacent to the ball, and there are always two people adjacent to the ball, stand in order to wonder where should they be. They, of course, you could stand out here and say you're open for a pass, but the perfect place for you to stay is in a perfect triangle with the next two defenders. Now, this is not a perfect triangle, and this is not a perfect triangle, but this is where the players are equidistant from each other. On this side as well, this player stands in a perfect triangle to be in the perfect place to catch the ball. Now, you could catch it other places, and you could say, well, what's so bad about catching it here? But it's better to catch it in a perfect triangle, and the reasons for that will become obvious shortly. Let's say that the ball suddenly went to the side, and this person engaged two people. Now, where's a perfect triangle to receive the ball? For this person, adjacent to the ball, perfect triangle would be with these two defenders right here. If this is the way they remained, right here, then a perfect triangle on this side would be right here. And that's, this would be the perfect place to receive the ball. Remember, rule number three, if you're next to the ball, you're in a perfect triangle with the next two defenders. Rule number three against the zone is a triangle rule which states that the two people next to the ball, there's always someone to the right of the ball, someone to the left of the ball. Those two players, in order to be in the perfect place to receive a pass, are always in a perfect triangle with the nearest two defenders. Let's show what that looks like on the court. Let's say, for example, the ball is being dribbled down the court, it gets here, and as two people in the zone take the ball. So let's just leave the ball here, and you can see there'd be two defenders on the ball. The person immediately adjacent on the right has to decide where's the best place to stand. This wouldn't be a good place. The way to know what's the perfect place is to see the two nearest two defenders, how far are they apart. In this case, they look about six feet apart, so I want to be six feet from Jill and six feet from Andre. We can show this just by watching a couple of players or three players come down. Lydia is lying down here between the two, showing that they're about six feet apart. Now I know that the perfect place for me to be is right here in this triangle. Now, if there were 12 feet between them, I'd want to be 12 feet from each of the players. But since there's six feet, one person, I'd like to be right here. This is the perfect place to get the ball because this allows me to catch it and engage two immediately the moment I catch the ball.